Oh man, I'm bummed. I'm big bummed. I'm I'm a big bummed dude. Oh my gosh, let me get a seven one. Oh, um, we're gonna keep the arcane worm and probably not arcane bolt because it's it's not good to have my opening hand. But I'll keep the arcane worm because it's a minion and it generates an extra resource, which is nice. It's just a better arcane bolt. And yeah, the reason why I'm not running this is because this is Bunny Hopper's deck. Uh, this is not my deck. Bunny Hopper decided to not run Kel'Thuzad and instead put in Vexilus and Arcane Bolts for some extra burst damage, which I think is interesting. I don't 100% know if I think it's good yet. But I definitely was intrigued. I'm gonna hit this once. No, I'm not gonna hit it once. We're just gonna go face. I don't really care. Because then they can just like weapon up, hit it, and then this lives. I guess I could ping it, but if they play, um... Putricide and they hit this and get some extra resources immediately. It's just annoying So then we'll play this probably on four. We'll have six cards. We'll go down to five up to nine So we'll we'll be fine And then we'll try to play like cold case or something on that turn. I'll probably just ping it to keep this alive I don't really mind this at all ping this goes face uh, And then next turn it's gonna be you get a four four hopefully cold case like I said and then we'll see where we go from there Kel'Thuzad is a million times better. Ah I don't know if I 100% agree. I mean, we're arguing with literally the world champion on this, so I'm gonna say that this version, well, I don't know. It's obviously too early to tell what's better and what's worse. Like, it's, I haven't tested this out enough. I wanna get a copy of Cold Case, I think. I think getting armor is probably better than another solid alibi. I already have a two frozen touches. I think getting more is just redundant. So I'll go cold case and try to generate resources that way. We are going, on a we are going to have to play arcane bolt first before we play cold case because I don't want to lose cold case. I don't care about losing um Arcane Bolt for one mana. And then if we get a 1-1, one, one, I guess it kind of sucks. It could also be Objection. And we'll try to bait out Objection a little bit later with like an Alchemist or something. Something I don't care as much about. I don't want it to be Agwin though. So we're gonna play this and we're gonna hit here. Is it counter? It does not appear to be counter. That's fine. We'll go Cold Case afterwards then. Okay, Double Cross is fine. I'm gonna hit with this, see if it's the Vengeful Visage. Or Ice Barrier. This is this animation's taking over. And then we'll kill this off, I guess. Do I want to kill this off? No, I want to kill this off, because this being Shadow Stepped's actually way more annoying. And this 4-3, we can kill it later with like a frozen touch or something and be okay. Why do all rogue decks suck? I actually don't think rogue decks suck. I think rogue decks are harder to play. But I don't actually think that they suck. I think Miracle Rogue is still good if you can play at a high level. I think that there's this weird John Bray or Jay Alexander deck that's going around um, that's a, a like secret rogue focused on more value, which is probably the deck this is going, which is doing pretty well. Feels pretty good to me. And we won't overdraw. So boom, Frozen Touch, Frozen Touch, they'll get infused again. These go face. Seems pretty solid. Like I, I like this quite a bit. Oh my goodness gracious, what are you talking about, man? Wait, where did you even get- Oh, wait, from the- from the concoction, it's my bad. Oh. Oh heavens, no. This is not good at all. This is really, really bad, actually. Oh, this is not good. Okay. I would say Deathborn here is phenomenal. I want to hit that so that way the two damage does kill this off. Deathborn kills off one, two, three. It kills off pretty much everything and gives me a six, six. Actually, hold on. That was a misplay. I should have hit here. Because I want to only get six minions to leave space for the Cosmic Cube Board to give me a six, six. So I want this to die. And then do this. So that way I have six things that die. The six, six summons. And that's pretty good. Like, that's a decent board. I just need to hope that they don't have the Colossal Minion for Priest. 
And then even if they do, they play, I'll play Frozen Touch, I'll do what I can to kill it off. Sure. Alright. Don't be the priest one, please. That's really all I'm asking. Kolak? Interesting. Okay. Oh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I want to play this to get rid of it, get rid of the objection. It could be explosive runes. It is objection, that's fine. I think I want to play Agwin more than anything else, right? To get extra spell damage on a minion that I draw. Could also just be like Arc Splitter and then two Frozen Touches on this. Yeah, I think it gives me more total damage to go Frozen Touch, Frozen Touch. This goes here, they gain eight armor. And then I, you know, go full face with these. I mean, it's a 1-1. One, one. I don't really care about that. Let's just push damage. Kingsbane is good. That's in wild, not standard. That's not the game mode that I play. I really want to try out beatboxers and breakdance. I think that they could be pretty fun, actually. Oh. Oh. Can I just say I hate Hanar so much? Like, it's just, it's just... Secrets are so annoying. To be fair, none of them are, um... Oh, it's explosive, for sure. If it is explosive, do I still win? I think I still just win the game though, right? It's probably cheat death, actually. Let's test out cheat death. Wait. If it's not explosive trap, do I just get wrecked here? Okay, it is explosive, but they take a ton of damage and then we just go frozen touches like nobody's business. All right, they infuse. The animations take a long time, but then we're gonna go uh, frozen touch, frozen touch, arcane bolt. Sure, I don't care about sticky situation. That doesn't matter. And we win the game. Cool, okay, that went pretty well. That. I feel like this deck definitely has potential. I don't know if I like it more than Skeleton Mage, though. Okay, uh, not keeping. We're keeping, we're gonna coin out volume up. I mean, I don't think I really need either of these cards, to be honest with you. I feel like there are better options in the deck. Arc Splitter is fine, but I don't, I don't really need it. We're gonna go this, we're gonna volume up with the coin, hope to get a cold case, try to get as many of them out there as we possibly can to gain armor and get damage out on the board. Um, oh no. I will arcane bolt it. This deck is, or this matchup's not gonna go the way that I thought it was going to go, that is for sure. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Mana cheat, love mana cheat. I think mana cheat's a really well-designed thing in general. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like mana cheat that much, if you didn't know. We're gonna play you, and then we're gonna coin out this, and then hopefully go cold case. It's pretty good, actually. We'll get two 4-4s four over the course of the next two turns, gain some armor. If we miss on cold case, then we're gonna have to figure something else out, but we, we can do it. I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe in ourselves. So let's do it. Prismatic elemental, doesn't really matter. Boom, boom, give me cold case, please, okay. We found Cold Case. We're just gonna play it like back to back. Solid Alibi is also very good against this deck, but I think gaining a ton of armor, considering I already do have a Solid Alibi, is probably fine. All right, they play a 2-2 two, two snake bite. That was just awful. That was just terrible. I kind of feel bad for the fact that they played this card at all. This card is terrible. I actually made a tweet about this card. Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. Let me, let me show you the tweet I made about this card. It's one of the least played cards in the game. Oh no, did I? I didn't make a tweet about it. I was going to, but yeah, it's one of the least played cards in the game, and I just feel like it needs way more to like get stats than the other ones do. Like it's just so hard to kill off a bunch of these minions to get these plus one plus ones. 
But like, I don't know how you change it. Maybe start it as a two mana two two. But then that would be a bit strong. I don't know. Security? Like, sure, you're getting a pretty sick turn, but... I don't, I don't know what else you're supposed to do here. Deathborn on six would be nuts. Absolutely nutty. Look at this board! This is a Deathborn board, but I can't afford it yet. Who's hiding now? Oh, come on. I can feel it in my bones. This is perfect. Correct to hit with these two first, just in case they die. Very good play. Oh! Interesting, and that goes face. That's a bit of a problem. We'll get a 4-4. Four, four. Um, we're gonna play... Boom! Into Cold Case. He needs to send two things into this or something else. We gain a decent amount of armor, put some pressure out on the board, gives us a 4-4. Four, four. Hopefully we can Deathborn at some point to clear this, and it's, it's pretty good. Is Control Warlock tier 1? I would say no. I would say Control Warlock, bleh, Control Warlock is not tier 1. Anyone ought to a ghoul to oh. the face. Okay. So they've got themselves a pretty good board. Hit a 5-5. Five, five. Awesome. Hit the other one. Okay, you know what? Acceptable. This is death bornable. We'll take five damage, but we can play this with another death born later, and it's still really, really good. We're not infusing the Frozen Touch, but, like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fair enough. They draw two. Okay. I know that they have the, um, the Legendary still in their deck. Oh, and another Fierce Outsider, because the other one was... Two of them were randomly generated. Did not realize that. That's my bad. But okay, this could be going a lot worse, honestly. Hits the... That was... Oh, uh, no, I guess that didn't not make sense. Oh, man. Now I just, I flamed the snake bite, and now I'm going to get destroyed by the snake bite. That's my fault. All right. Yeah, that works. Boom, solid alibi. And then volume up. I didn't have lethal or anything, because I can't play the things too many times. We'll take another solid alibi. And we're just gonna we're just gonna stall out as long as possible and annoy the crap out of this guy. It is our time to get out of this. Losing makes me a better at rage at least. I don't punch my desk anymore. I don't usually, but there are definitely times when I do. We don't talk about those times. Oh my god. Disgusting! Absolutely gross! Oh no, man. So we go boom into Deathborn. And this lives, which is a problem, but it's not that much damage. It's not that much damage. It's nine. They can probably squeeze out realistically. Okay, trading. That goes face. That's fine. They're going to I-beam now. It's not going to be in the outcast position, so we're thrilled about that. And the frozen touches are getting activated, which is nice. I can't post the deck code to your Twitter. What do you mean? You just go to my Twitter. You then press the um, the little the little DM button, the little envelope, and then you message me. Interesting. Not a very good card. Not that great. Wait a minute. Are we off? Whoa, what in the... F what do you mean? What in the world? The game is just over though. Yeah, he's just done. And then we get disposed of evidence for three more damage. What a weird, what an interesting, I'm not even upset about this deck. That was kind of cool. That was an interesting deck. I don't really want to keep any of these cards. I want to keep Nightcloak Sanctum. And I'm, I'm tempted to keep Arc Splitter because having one mana ping twos can help me kill off quite a few minions. But I don't think it's as good as some of the other cards in here, like uh, a better one drop, like Suspicious Alchemist, the Artificer, uh, Cosmic Keyboard, or Cold Case, which of course we got a couple of those, which is really, really good for us. A red sun this deck slams, not gonna lie, true. This deck has actually been performing a lot better than I thought it was going to. That's actually a lie. I already thought it was gonna be good because Skeleton Mage was critically underrated. And this deck is a more aggressive version of Skeleton Mage, which means it's good into some matchups, but bad into others. Interesting. I can just ping that for two mana, or I can, sorry, ping the uh, the one without Divine Shield for two mana. And then we're gonna play this turn three, this turn 
four, this turn five, so hopefully it dies and we can get some extra value. And then after that, who knows, the world's our oyster after that. Not ideal. Oh, how rude, man, how rude. We get Deathborn though. Deathborn is really, really good. Like Deathborn could be, depending on how many divine shields they have, could be insane. We might coin it out instead of playing Agwin on five, but again, it depends on what's on the board at the time. What's Spooky Mage? Spooky Scary Skeleton Mage? Um, it's a cool deck. I would recommend it. Don't hit the guy that has no divine shield. Okay, you can hit a guy with divine shield. I'm happy about that. Eh, we gain armor off of this. I'm fine. It was either that or going the alchemist, but I don't think I really want to do that. And so next turn, we'll probably play Deathborn. If not, we'll probably use Arcane Bolt and Ping in order to get some other stuff down. Okay, I'm fine with that. Oh my gosh, my eye is itchy, but it doesn't really matter too much. You're gonna, okay, full face, full face, full face. What in the world? No, why would you hit there? Oh, why are you hitting like that? What do you, what do you, huh? Do this, freeze the four six. Well, now that we have nothing to really like hit and go crazy with, I guess this is probably fine. I'm, I'm a big bummed dude. Oh my gosh, let me get a seven one. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, do I have to play solid? I mean, I will play solid alibi. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see what you give me. Uh, fire sale is not the worst thing in the world, but I actually don't really want that. It is tradable though, which means we can find something else. Do I even need solid alibi at this point? I think the answer is actually no, but it's not likely. I'd rather save solid alibi for like next turn. So let's trade that and pass. Oh. I'm not gonna play solid alibi. I, okay. This is either gonna backfire massively if they have the perfect hand, or it's gonna go super duper well. Because now if he plays more minions that are bigger next turn, like right now, I can play solid alibi and take as little damage as possible. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay, so you give me spell damage, which is actually pretty nice. So what do I need to do here? So let's do that. Let's survive. Because this plus you plus two of these is 20 damage. Um, let's just do a little bit of extra chip damage just to be sure. So that way if they heal up three somehow, which I guess is possible with the one mana mana thirst card, we'll do that. And then we're gonna ping a uh, divine shield to make him do a little bit less damage. But then this, this, and then two arcane bolts is lethal next turn. And we should be alive because they can't heal too much. Oh my God. No way they heal up a ton here or five here. No, they can't heal up five here. No, okay. The solid alibi, the solid alibi was lethal. The deck is trash. Just lost seven in a row with it. I mean, I'm eight and three with it. This deck feels relatively good, honestly. How do you feel about nerf sitting all the classes besides Paladin? Um, Not thrilled about it. I think Paladin definitely needed to be nerfed in some way, but I don't exactly know how I would nerf it without completely killing the class. So it's hard. Oh, it casts two times, so we get four armor. No, we don't. Okay, that was weird. The, the It gave me the armor before the other one went off. That was weird. 